Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Saldina and I make IT and programming related videos. So if that is something that is of interest to you, consider subscribing to my channel and give this video a thumbs up as well. And in this particular video, I want to talk about polymorphism. Now, the first thing that I want to do is I want to explain what is polymorphism. Polymorphism describes the ability of an object, for example, to have multiple forms. Now, that means that you can have two or more objects that inherit from the same base class. Those objects can have the method that has the same name, but different implementation, meaning different behavior. And I'm going to demonstrate that on an example. Now, here I have some code that we have written in my previous courses. So if you haven't watched those, make sure to do so. The links to those videos are going to be in the description. And I'm very quickly going to go over this code. So here I have created a class that is called YouTube channel. That class has three private properties, name, subscribers count, and then published video titles. And then it has one protected property, which is owner name. Now, um, this private properties, these are available only in this class. And then these protected properties, these are available in derived classes as well. And then here we have public methods as well. And th this here is our constructor. So it just initializes values of um, these properties. I'm going to collapse that. And then here we have get info method with which just writes out information about our YouTube channel. And then these subscribe and unsubscribe methods, these just increase or decrease the, the number of our subscribers. Let's collapse that. And then publish video method, it just um, adds another video to this published video titles list. So that would be our YouTube channel base class. And then here we have cooking YouTube channel, which is a specific type of YouTube channel that inherits from this base class here. And that cooking YouTube channel has its own constructor, which is this one here. And here we have just invoked the constructor of our base class. And then here we have implemented a method which is called practice. And it says that when you practice and you have a cooking YouTube channel, you will have to be practicing uh, cooking and then learning new recipes and experimenting with spices. Now, what I want to do is I want to create another derived class. So I'm going to copy this. Okay. And then this derived class should be called, for example, let's paste the name here. So singers YouTube channel and I'm going to paste the name uh, here as well on my constructor. So this is going to be a YouTube channel about singing. Now, as you can see, this singers YouTube channel has this practice method as well. But this implementation is not right for my singers YouTube channel. Because if you're a singer, you are not going to benefit really from practicing cooking and then from learning recipes and experimenting with spices. But what you should do instead is you should pra practice something else. So I'm going to copy that so that I don't make a typo like this. So someone who is trying to make a singer's YouTube channel is going to take singing classes and then learning new songs. And then he should as well be learning how to dance because I believe that singers should know how to dance as well. Okay. So now we have implemented this singer's YouTube channel. And as you can see, as I already demonstrated, it has this same method, which is practice. But this method has different implementation than this one. And as you can see here, this is the implementation of our practice method on our cooking channel. And then this here is the implementation on our singer's YouTube channel. So what I want to do now is I want to create this singer's YouTube channel. Here we already have cooking YouTube channel. So it is a video, it is a code from one of my previous videos. And then what I want to do is I want to create a singer's YouTube channel. So let's call it um, singer's 
YouTube channel and let's say that it is going to be called for example John Sings like this and then owner is going to be a guy named John like this okay now after I have created this cooking YouTube channel and then this singers YouTube channel you can probably call it singing YouTube channel or something like that uh, this is the best name that I could come up with okay so now what I want to do is I want to invoke methods on these two classes and the methods that I want to invoke are going to be these two so practice and then this practice method as well so here I'm going to say cooking YouTube channel dot practice like this and then let's invoke the same method for my singers YouTube channel like this and now if I run my program as you can see it says that Amy is practicing cooking and then John is taking singing classes and learning new songs and learning how to dance I can imagine that okay now after I have invoked these two methods you can really see oh I have stopped my program I'm sorry so here you can see that this cooking YouTube channel has invoked its own method so this cooking YouTube channel has invoked the method that has been implemented in this cooking YouTube channel class which is this one here and then this invocation so this singers YouTube channel when you invoke practice method on that this method here is going to be invoked so this method that is implemented in singers YouTube channel class now let's add another thing and that is going to be here in this practice method and then in this practice method as well what I want to do is I want to say that each time that a user practices cooking and then practices singing what is going to happen is the quality of that YouTube channel is going to increase so in order to track that quality content rating I'm going to create a property and that is going to be here in this YouTube channel in this base class so I'm going to make that property uh, protected, protected because I want to have it accessible in my cooking YouTube channel and then in my singers YouTube channel as well so I want that property to I want to access that property from my derived classes and because of that I'm going to make it protected so here I'm going to say int and let's call it content quality like this okay and initially I want to set the value of this content quality variable in this constructor here I want to set it to zero like this because I want to say that when you create your YouTube channel this constructor here is going to be invoked and you are going to have zero subscribers and you are going to have a zero knowledge about content quality so your rate content quality rate is going to be zero so let's close that and then what I want to do here in this practice method is I want to say each time that you practice your content quality should increase so let's increase that variable content where is it content quality plus plus so I'm going to increment that content quality and then I'm going to do the same here like this now let's say for example that my um, the singer here John he is going to practice a lot so he has practiced five times more than Amy did so if I run my program now you can see that John is practicing and then again and again and again so he is practicing a lot and Amy is not really so what do I want to do with this content quality property well let's say that I want to implement another method and that method is going to be as well implemented here in this base class and th that method is going to be called uh, check analytics because that check analytics method should be available for all YouTube channels so that is not something that is specific for this cooking YouTube channel only or for this singing YouTube channel so singer YouTube channel but that method should be available for all YouTube channels and because of that I'm going to implement it in this base class so let's say void check analytics like this okay 
And now what I want to do in this check analytics method is I want to use this property, this content quality property in a following way. So I want to say if content quality is less than five, I want to write out a message to my user. So I want to say see out and then let's write out the name of this YouTube channel like this. And then let's add um, a message which is going to say let me copy that. Okay, this is going to say that this channel has a bad quality content because this content quality has a rating that's, that is less than five. And let's add end line. And then what is going to happen if this content quality is not uh, less than five? So if it is equal to five or greater than five, I'm going to put else block here. And what I want to say here, okay, is that this channel has a good content, great content actually. Okay, like this. Now, what am I going to do with this check analytics method? Well, I'm going to try to invoke it here. But the way that I want to try to invoke this, uh, this method that we just implemented is going to be in a following way. So there is one very interesting thing when it comes to polymorphism and that thing is related to pointers. Um, at this point I haven't made videos about pointers on my channel but if you're watching this video sometime in the future then those videos are probably available on my channel so make sure to look for them on my channel and then in the description of this video as well. So let's create a pointer and that pointer is going to be a pointer of our base class. So a pointer of type YouTube channel. Okay, like this. And let's call it YouTube one. And what I want to do is I want to assign to this pointer here address of this cooking YouTube channel. And you can do that. You can assign to a pointer of a base class an address of derived class. So I'm going to say here, please, to this pointer, assign address of this cooking YouTube channel class, like this. And then what I want to do is I want to create another pointer. Let's call it YouTube2. And then to this YouTube2 pointer, I want to assign the address of my singer's YouTube channel, like this. So one more time, a pointer of base class can point to a variable of derived class. Now, what I can do using these pointers is I can invoke method that I have just created, which is this one here. So check analytics, so let's do that. Let's say YouTube channel one, and then um, let's invoke this method. Let's say check analytics like this. And if you just noticed, it has changed my dot to this symbol here because this is used when you want to invoke methods using pointers. So I'm going to copy this again for my second YouTube channel like this. And now if I run my program, as you can see, our John has been practicing a lot and then Amy has been practicing only one time. So here, after I have invoked these two methods, this first method says that Amy's kitchen has bad quality content because she hasn't been practicing enough. And then after this YouTube channel to check analytics, you can see that it writes out this message that John Singh's channel has great content because he has been practicing a lot, as you can see here. Okay. So here we have used polymorphism in order to implement this practice method in our cooking YouTube channel and then in our singer's YouTube channel. So implementation of our singer's YouTube channel practice method is here and then for our cooking YouTube channel our practice method looks like this. And we have done that uh, thanks to the polymorphism, so different implementations, but the same method name. And then I have demonstrated here how you can use pointers to point to an object of derived class and you can store that in a pointer of base class. 
and then we have invoked this check analytics method using these uh, pointers of base class. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon as well, and I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye!